Hey folks, hey Automotive Reviews. Be quiet for a second, just listen to the rain. You might have to listen carefully. The sound of nature, getting back to the Ford Bronco. Getting back out in the woods, hugging a tree, feeling good, take a deep breath. Cause that's what life is all about. And the Ford Bronco is just one way to live that life and to get out there so you can get back to nature and get out on the edge again you know what for some reason chevy isn't scared of the ford bronco why is that <laughs> let's just investigate and find out even though we're months away from the 2021 ford bronco deliveries the blue oval reborn off-road suv is already a massive hit it's not even out yet and it's hitting hard the automaker secured 165,000 reservations for the new Ford Bronco in the first three weeks. They were available. And it's been blowing up the internet ever since. It's off the chain, folks. Off the chain. That's all I know is Bronco. All I know is Bron 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 Bronco. Now, meanwhile, Ford Crosstown rival General Motors also recently revived an iconic nameplate. The Chevrolet Blazer. We'll get a little bit deeper into that one in a second. Though not as rough and tumble off-road SUV fans remember, but rather a unibody crossover. So while we would think that the Bronco and Penny's success would have Chevy a little worried, that isn't apparently the case at all, folks. Not the case at all. Matter of fact, Chevy ain't even flinching. Now, we keep a very close eye on the competition. And obviously, we are always focused on what our competitor are doing. That's what Brad Friends, the senior marketing manager for Chevrolet SUV, told 430 executive editor Alex Luft. In a recent interview, we think that what the Blazer stands for in a marketplace right now is more of the unroll performance. And that's how we have the vehicle position. So we feel good about how we've been able to build that Blazer brand in that fashion. Actually, I had a friend of mine who had the uh, who had a Chevy Blazer. And honestly, it looks quite nice. Very nice. Now, while the Chevrolet Blazer was brought back as a unibody crossover, the new Ford Bronco is set to do battle with Jeep Wrangler almost exclusively in the off-road focus SUV segment. And that fact hasn't settled particularly with Chevy fans who would have preferred to see the Blazer make the battle a threesome regardless. It doesn't sound like that'll ever, that's ever going to happen because that's just not Chevy focus. Now, as you know, the Bronco and the Wrangler are going to be bringing very heavy off-road type communication. So we feel like the Blazer will have his spot in the on-road space. And the sales performance reflects that. And that's what Friends said. And look at that. It is spectacular. I like, I like the Blazer. The Blazer got some nice looks to it. Now, Friends is correct that the Blazer has been a sales success since his return for the 2019 model year. Chevy Blazer sales posted a stellar performance during the third quarter of 2020 as delivery shot up 45%. To 23,486 units, allowing it to secure a second place finish in terms of cumulative sales in the segment. Additionally, the Blazer increased retail market share by 2.2% points when compared to the third quarter of 2019. But here's our baby right here. Now, while that great news for GM is quite obvious, that enthusiasts aren't pleased with the fact that the Reborn Blazer is designed to appeal to the masses as a mainstream crossover. They're certainly dreaming of a modernized, capable, retro-style body-on-frame SUV like the new Ford Bronco or even the Jeep Wrangler. Unfortunately for them, it doesn't appear that GM is listening to that. They're not threatened by Ford Bronco and I don't blame him I wouldn't be threatened either you got to know your focus and you got to know who you're appealing to you're appealing to people who want on-road 
proudness, not off-road proudness. So what do you can you expect? I mean, you're not going to have the breakover. You're not going to have the, uh, the, the water fording and all that that you would have on the Bronco. It's just not geared for that. And therefore, let's look back into Chevy Blazer and let's look back into their history and what makes the Chevy Blazer a Chevy Blazer. Now, the Chevy Blazer, let's get into that a little bit. It's an awesome SUV. I mean, they've come back and they are doing it big too, the Chevy Blazer. Now, they got the Chevy Blazer RS. And not only that, man, it got discounts up to $4,000. You can't beat that. You really can't beat it. Now, the Chevy Blaze RS is just getting sales like crazy. Now, General Motors reintroduced the Chevy Blazer nameplate as an all-new mid-size crossover for the 2019 model year. Now, so far, the new Blazer has posted impressive sales performance, especially the sporty Chevy Blaze RS trim which is penetrating at 35% of the Blazer portfolio. That's according to GM Authority. And that's something awesome. It just keeps exceeding expectations, said the marketing, marketing director of Chevy, Chevrolet SUVs, Brad Franz. In an interview with the GM Authority executive editor, Alex Luft, we have moved for, forecast up, and it just keeps growing and growing and growing. This sales performance is doubly impressive when considering the price point for the Chevy Blaze RS starting at $41,295. The Chevy Blaze RS is the second most expensive trim in the Blazer lineup. So the revelation coincides with the uh, stronger, again, like we talked about, third quarter sales performance for the new Chevy Blazer. With the crossover posting its best quarterly figures since lunch with the uh, third quarter 2020 numbers. The figures also represent that 2.2% retail market share gain year over the quarter three marking. The uh, Chevy Blazer is the second best selling model in the two row midsize mainstream crossover segment. Best only by the Jeep Grand Cherokee. So the Chevy Blazer is coming out and it is fighting folks. But that Bronco is just calling, is calling us. On-road proudness is what it's all about. That's where you're basically going to be probably, say, about 80% of the time is driving to work. Depends how far you drive. And, you know, and then when you're off, you know, you have your Bronco. But the Bronco is all around her. I mean, it's good on-road and it's good off-road. The whole suspension is set up for that. Independent suspension is, you know, so you can move along the highway, cruising about 80, 90, 100, whatever it is you do. You're able to do it in the Bronco, and you're able to go off road. And you're able to do use the uh, the off road cruise control, where you can just cruise and watch out for rocks at super super low speeds. You can't beat it. I mean, it's just an all arounder, and um, it's just not in the same segment. Therefore, GM and, and Chevy just not is not worried. You know, their sales and whatever is not going to be hurt by the Bronco at all. You know, the Bronco is exclusively for off roaders, and that's where off roaders will be. And the Ford Bronco are the Jeep Cherokee. Not the Jeep Cherokee, but they'll be inside of a Jeep. I say the Jeep Cherokee because that's what's competing with the uh, Blazer. And that's the one that's ahead of the Blazer. But Chevy's not scared. And they have no reason to be. And obviously, the Bronco apparently isn't scared of Chevy at all either. There's two different segments. And... Which is just awesome, folks. We look back at the Bronco and we just say, wow. The Bronco is just doing it. And they're doing it big. I love the four-door Badlands version and everything. It's just, it's off the, it's off the skelter with the Ford Bronco. Ford Bronco, Chevy's not scared. And I don't blame them. I wouldn't be scared either. The Bronco is doing it big, folks. That's what it's all about. The Ford Bronco. Awesome. The fog lights, the... Uh, the uh, retrieving points, the um, everything is just awesome. The um, the mirrors built into the cow. You have the uh, the nice top, basically a convertible. You have the rollover bars in there, and everything in place. You have the satellite setup. You have everything just set up nicely. 
you know, you can even take a nap inside, relax out in the wilderness and just be chilling. You know, just be chilling and, and, and vibing with the one you love and just chilling and relaxing and going out amongst the rocks and looking at the animals and looking at nature with your binoculars. Both of you just out there sitting on top of the Bronco, standing up, looking out at the wild, looking at the animals. Just chilling, boy. I look forward to, to living that life with this Bronco. I look forward to, to purchasing mine. I'm really, really looking forward to it. Looking forward to ordering it. Looking forward to moving to that next angle. I'm looking forward to making that next move. And when it's right financially so to do so. But I feel it coming. I feel the Bronco coming in the air of the night. And that's just awesome, folks. Awesome, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for, um, thanks for liking. You guys have a fantastic day. And um, appreciate you. A Automotive Reviews, we're out. Thank you. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe for more interesting videos.